morning. I have not filmed anything in so long. Um, technically, maybe since since I've been back and I've been today's Monday. I came back Wednesday, so almost a week, so five days. I haven't filmed anything, um, primarily because I've been just working on the wedding and I've been pretty busy. Uh, yes, yeah, so my schedule basically once I came back was. Uh, work and as you know I leave around 8 30 come home around 9 30 and I still got to cook and uh, cook and shower and all that stuff so end up in bed at like 11 30 so I actually don't really have a lot of time so what I've been doing instead is actually I've been waking up an hour earlier uh, but yeah since and since I didn't take any days off technically I, I had to work basically um, what was it? I did I did early on the week and then I went home to Utah. I had to work three days in a row. So and coming home late, I also and we had a power outage the day I came home, so I didn't have uh, I couldn't cook anything because uh, we have a gas power stove, but I didn't have anything to light the power, and I didn't also have any food. So so yeah, I did not cook anything. I was basically. Wait a second. What time is it? One second. What time is it? I don't need to take the bus because I'm trying to take the train. Okay. 7.20. And, all right, I'll make it. Okay. So, I'm actually leaving a lot earlier today. So, it's 7.30 right now. 7.20 right now. And I'm actually heading up to Capitol Hill. So, pretty close to work. But, supposed to be on that train right there. But you know me, I always miss it. So the next one comes in about 10, 20, 20, 20 30 minutes. But um, so this morning, I'm actually waking up a lot earlier and I'm checking out apartments. So I'm checking out before work, after work, if I if there any are open. But there's the place I'm checking out today is actually very affordable. And it's down within Capitol Hill. It's meant for it's a it's owned by nonprofits, and it's meant for people with low income, such as myself, uh, to be able to afford living in a city without uh, the market price screwing them over. So I'm checking that place out, and my friends actually helping me sort all that stuff out. So he's he's actually been doing me a solid. He, uh, so it's really I'm really I feel like I'm obligated to check it out. Uh, plus, it's a uh, it's like 600, 700 square feet for 1,100. And in Seattle, you know, if you're in Seattle or any major world city, you know, 700 square feet downtown, like center of the city, easily like 18 plus, right there. And I'm I might be only paying 1,100. And the ceilings are 10 feet tall. I have to check it out. If I don't check it out, I'm just stupid at this point but checking that place out and then what was it then there's one place that i saw the pictures i just had to see it in person and i was supposed to go yesterday but then they didn't message back so i'm gonna try to go either tomorrow or wednesday but man i think i'm in love with this place like this place is expensive but with mfte uh with everything i could pay like around four to five hundred dollars less but man this place i looked at it and you know how like sometimes you're traveling and you just look at something and you're like this is it or not traveling but when you're apartment searching or something or like you just you just have this gut feeling i have this gut feeling about this place and I, I feel like I, I just need to have it but timeline right now i was talking it over and just reviewing it with people not really people, more like myself and I was just telling people. But I think I'll be in Seattle for another two, three years. Really like the next two, three years is just really establish myself, build the connections I already have, build the relationships I already have, build newer, better relationships, build a better uh, base here. And then after that, see where I go. I might, I'm thinking about going to Oregon for a year because my friend plans on moving up there and I would just move in with him help them get settled and after that maybe maybe move to New York City for a few months and then the UK for a year and then 
yeah, just see where life takes me. I want to live because since I'm not, there's not really a foundation for me anywhere. I'm just open to moving everywhere, you know? And then the nice thing about not really being known and is, how is there two trains already? What the, hey. See, sometimes, I'm telling you, sometimes none of these make sense. Like they go back to back and then other times they come like every 30 minutes or every time's 40 and you're like, what the heck? Man, I'm still like, five blocks away. Dang, I should've walked the other way. But, but yeah, so, live here for a few more years. That's why the next place I wanna have, I wanna have like a solid home base, a place where I could call home, be comfortable, create dope content, really, really immerse in my place, and then make, like I have a plan. After this, these vlogs, once I move, once I find this like ideal living situation, see right now, the place I'm looking at is cheap, affordable, roomy, and if I don't get it, I'm just dumb. The other place is like, I can see myself growing so much here, or there, because I'm not there. Um, the place I have now, I actually thought that was gonna be it if we stayed for another year, but you know, life happens. And the next place, I'm gonna be alone, fully alone, no roommate, no nothing. Uh, and Vince might be moving down to Tacoma. So all of us are gonna be splitting up. By all of us, I mean Vince, me, and AZA. AZA is in Shoreline, so he's not that bad. But we all live basically, we'll all live basically like, Shoreline to where I'm moving isn't that bad. Uh, but to Vince, it's about 40, 40 to an hour. But nothing wrong with that. Live our own lives, just make time for each other. That's what it's all about, right? But yeah, that's that's the current thing. Heading, walking to the train, taking to Capitol Hill, checking out this place, go to work. But I finished my bridles and now I just have to work on the wedding. Man, I'm so bad at this timing. And I could have hopped on this bus to take the train down, but man, whatever. It's a nice morning. Weather's finally nice in Seattle. Taking a walk, whatever. So, so we're at the first place. So this is the apartment in Capitol Hill that my friend's trying to help. So this is the kitchen. Honestly, it kind of, it's, it's all right. It's, so the look, obviously, it's not a brand new establishment. This is a bathroom. So you got your mirror and counter. You got a bathtub, which I actually really wanted. The bathroom's actually pretty deep comparatively. Uh, so it's not bad. Living room, the ceiling is huge. So this is like 10 feet tall. But then you have like this entire ceiling. So you have an entrance inside and outside. The room, there's a set, there's an actual room. Like if you're in Seattle, you know this is a big, and then the big step up is a walk-in closet instead of my tiny ass closet. My closet's all right size, but definitely have room. But it's not bad. It's only, it's literally right across the light rail also. Um, what was it? Close to work. And honestly, I can, for 1100, this is, for 11 to 1200, this is amazing. This is like a steal. If I, oh, I'm just trying to, I just gotta be. All right, I have one, I have one place that I, I'm just the, so this place is actually, I can see the potential here so much. And then I'm just trying to, I can see the potential here. Oh. I can kind of, yeah, I, I see the potential, you know? It's kind of, it's kind of dope. Okay, look, get the futon either right here or something. Set up my, like get a dining table. Man, oh yeah, and look at this, this is actually pretty sick. You have a giant walk-in like closet inside. That's actually so nice, I can put my shoes. Oh man, okay, man, okay. The Ryan place has, I have to fall in love with the, the, the other apartment or else this, this has to be it. This is too good. Even though like technically, I don't really necessarily know if I like the walls and all that stuff, but the ceilings are super high. Man, this is like, this is, this would be dumb if I don't think about this option. Oh, it's nice though, huh? You, can you see me in here? Hey, I'm on the roof. 
The space needles in the back. Okay, this roof and then it over on the other side, right? That is Mount R Rainier. Rainier. I never know how to say it right. But man, this is okay. Okay, this this might be it. Okay, I love views, right? The Orion place is literally just straight down next to the space needle over here. But I get to see the space needle and water. That was my goal. That was my goal. The next place I have to see water. I don't know why, but I need to see water. The light rail's just right there. Oh my god, okay. I might, uh, this has to be. This is. Oh man. God, if you're real, thank you. This is, this is a sign. But Ryan has to top this. If it doesn't, oh man. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. This is, oof. So I'm walking home. Uh, today was kind of a rough day, to be honest. Uh, I basic, I had 10 minute lunch, so I just scarfed down my food super fast. I worked basically all the way up. Normally I have a break, like there's just no more orders, but then today there was non-stop orders up until I left and I bought some groceries, so I'm just kind of that home. But honestly, today was a day. I'm pretty tired. Um, tomorrow I was going to do a 10 hour day, or I actually had a shoot booked but it got canceled or postponed. And so I'm just gonna work the later shift tomorrow. So in the morning I actually have free time. Um, and I don't work until 3.30. So I'm probably gonna wake up a little bit earlier and I'm gonna finish the wedding, or not finish, but I'll work more on the wedding. And there's two places I really wanna check out before I settle in, but I'm gonna be honest, today I'm kinda, I kinda hope I get the place in Capitol Hill. Not necessarily my take on what it looks like, but everything else. Like, there's so many pros to it that the cons don't. At this point, like, if I could be home in 10 minutes rather than an hour, you know, like, an hour is a big difference, you know, T to get to work and home. Like, the fact that I got off, it's like 9.35 right now. And I got off at 8.30 or 8.25. You know, like that's that's a lot of time. And I'm always so tired when I get home. Like there's, I always feel like there's no time to do anything. So yeah, maybe these next few couple weeks, finding a place, this is gonna, I gotta find a place that makes me feel home. You know what I'm saying? I gotta find a place that makes me feel like I'm at home.